Hi, Julie here. So I did an article recently on how to remove people in Lightroom and somebody said that was great, really helpful, but how do you do it in Capture One and other programs? So I thought I'd just quickly put together this little video to show you how you can access tools in Capture One to get rid of the same people in the same photo. So, I mean, I've got some dust spots and sensor spots and things that need to be removed. So I'm actually just going to go to my draw healing mask to just go and get rid of those. Now you can zoom in to your image by using the scroll wheel on your mouse um, and you can move around with just grabbing the space bar that gives you your hand so you can move around within your screen and using the open and close brackets just to make your brush bigger and smaller so that's pretty straightforward to just get rid of a few sensor spots but it's a little bit trickier when it comes to getting rid of people but there's still some really cool tools that you can use in capture one so if you go up to that draw healing mask and just hold it down it will also give you the draw cloning mask or if you press s on your keyboard that will also bring it up so you do need to hit alt to select an area to work from and then it's just a matter of brushing it over and voila your person disappears Sometimes you do have to access from the other side just so that you have got something to go over. Now I've still got his feet to come and fix up so I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to get rid of the feet coming in from both sides just having it line up just a touch. And sometimes just moving your, your bracketed keys in to make things a little bit smaller just makes it easier to work through. So that is pretty much how to remove those. If I go back to my tool, um, I could come back in and do a little bit of tidy up. But that's how you can quickly and easily remove somebody from your image in Capture One by using the clone tool um, which is up here in the um, cursor tools so that's the draw cloning mask or you can use the spot removal tool or even the draw healing mask tool to remove some sensor spots thanks for watching bye for now